Hi, in this video we'll look at testing for idols. Insecure direct object references are a type of access control vulnerability in which an application uses user supplied input to access objects such as files, directories or database records directly. If suitable access controls are not in place, this enables attackers to manipulate these references and gain access to other objects without authorization. IDOs are sometimes confused with other types of access control vulnerability. Note that the term IDOR specifically refers to vulnerabilities in which an application exposes references to its own internal implementation objects. If you'd like to follow along, we're going to use the user ID control by request parameter lab from our Web Security Academy. Although we're using a specific lab, the principle of running a sniper attack in Burp Intruder should apply to any application in which you find exposed object references in a URL. First of all, we need to identify parameters or other locations in which we suspect an IDOR vulnerability exists. In this example, if we log in using the credentials supplied with the lab, we can see that the URL now shows a query parameter. This strongly indicates that on this site, the user ID is used to retrieve the relevant user's data in order to render the account page. If we now go to Burp's proxy HTTP history tab, we can right click and forward this request to Burp Intruder. Select the Intruder tab and make sure the attack type is set to Sniper. Highlight the parameter you want to test and click on Add to set this as a payload position. Select the Payloads tab and add a list of the test values you want to use in the attack. The example lab requires a list of usernames. If you're using Burp Suite Professional, you can open the Add From List drop-down menu and select the usernames list. Click Start Attack. Burp Intruder will send a series of new requests, replacing the selected payload position with each username in the list. Study the responses to look for indications that some of the requests sent in the attack were successful. In this case, requests sent using the Administrator and Carlos payloads received a 200 OK response. This indicates that you may be able to access the account pages for these usernames without authorization. If the responses to these requests show that the page was retrieved, then the IDOR vulnerability is confirmed. 